I got broads in Atlanta, just a Dolly in the family Credit cards in the scammers, hitting the licks in the van Look at this. What's up guys, Colin Jones here, and today we're going to be doing a uh, Black Ops 3 Conspiracy Theory. Okay, I just saw the Revelation trailer, and, wait, wait a sec, more lighting. I just saw the Revelation trailer, and blew my mind, like, boom, my, my mind's all over the wall. But like, I'm going to explain the story, Shouts of Evil, basically a giant, or I start World at War, okay. World at War, there was four unknown soldiers looking for a guy named Pierre McLean. He was working for, he was looking for the Element 115935 company, and then moving on to Verrock, they went there to find him. And on this power switch, he was trying to open the power, and his arm got ripped off. And then another soldier joined. His name was Tank Dempsey. And then moving on, Zetsuno Numa, we finally meet Ritofen, Takio. We already saw Dempsey in the first two maps, and Nikolai. And all of them didn't know each other until... Wait, they knew each other, but wait until the end of the video. And, like, then moving on to their Reese, that's whenever Richtofen got crazy before the giant ever happened, because the lev cause it started over from Black Ops Day. And, like, like okay, just moving on Black Ops 2. Then Black Ops 2, the giant, the origin, origins comes, which, that's when they first meet. That's when, when they come in, they're pointing at each other like that and stuff. They didn't know each other, and that's introducing them when they came in. Which, they knew about Black Ops 3 coming in, and the staffs, and the premise. That's when the premise was invented in June. And, moving on to Black Ops 3, we go... All the way Shadows of Evil, which is back in time. Richtofen goes through millions and millions of planets teleporting to find his self to get the summoning key. Finally, he makes it to Shadows of Evil out of every million planet he went through. Then he finally found the right planet, Shadows of Evil. And that was the planet with the summoning key. Moving on to the giant, he teleported back to kill himself whenever he, this happened right after the Shadows of Evil, because he teleported back to shoot himself to make the world better again, so he didn't kill Maxis, Fluffy, or Samantha in the teleporter. So, moving on to Zetsubu no Shima. I mean, that, that's Darius and Draha. Dempsey goes on a mission to find his self, to kill himself from doing the wrong things, the bad things, and everything he did that was terrible, like killing some people he didn't like. And going on to Zesabu no Shima. Zesabu no Shima. Timu Glitches. No. Moving on to Zesabu no Shima. Zesabu no Shima. Sorry. Fucking suck. Like, he's. You just freaking suck. But, like, that's when Tokyo goes to kill himself because he was doing all the wrong stuff, which he was the nicest one out of all of them. I see it. But, like, then we go all the way to Gorod Kovi. He kills himself, which, no, Zetsubu Nushima introduces the characters killing each other, like, Tokyo killing Dempsey, Richtofen, and Nikolai, that shows, and then Gorod shows Nikolai 1.0 killing all the characters. If you don't know what it means by that, it means they went through thousands and thousands and thousands of dimensions to like, and that was them dying in the each thousand dimensions, which kind of sucked, because like, the blood vi- No, we ain't gonna get to blood vibes yet, no. Mm -hmm. Not yet. 
but moving on to Revelation 7, when that blood vial kicks in, then uh, Revelations took long to see right there, but like, we finally figure out Maxis gets screwed over by the Shadow Man, but it was Maxis's fault because he balls everything up. They destroyed the teleporter to make the world a better place, and then they balls everything up because Maxis got killed by the tele by Shadow Man, which came back from the summoning key, which we thought he died, but he didn't. Okay. And then at the end of the Easter egg, the blood vials what kept them alive from each part of the planet. Like the the blood vials are the reason they're alive. Like it's the reason they're alive because without them they would die. And like Is that like that? No. Oh, yeah. What was that? Crap. Um, okay. This is whenever it gets to the premise part. What the four original characters didn't know that they were the premises of everyone's love. And the blood vials is what gave them life through all the plants. That's why we see them dying in the Gorod and Zespu no Shima trailer for Xbox One PC. That's why we see them dying because. And they're still alive on PS4 because the blood vials kept them alive from each planet they went to. Okay. And what my theory is about the end, there's going to be more to come. Because the blood vials is what makes them go into Dr. Monty's world. Do they didn't want, Dr. Monty didn't want them in his perfect world because it was going to make his world not so perfect no more. Because then, like, Weaselton... Weasel, or I mean, Alton, all the Mob Day crew, I forgot their names, but like, all the Mob Day crew come back, start killing zombies and stuff, and like, which, that wouldn't be a perfect world for Dr. Monty, so Dr. Monty wanted everything to be good instead of bad, which was gonna happen if the four original characters stayed in, with, at the house with Dr. Monty and the kids, which, we really didn't see much about the kids at the end. That's why I think there's going to be more because the kids were like not really shown at the end in the house. So, yeah, it kind of sucks. But, like, hmm. I need to fix this line nice for us. Like, it's like, so bad. Mr. Freaking Fluffies, you're such a cute kid, but like, yeah, and which made me almost cry. So sad. We had to see our four characters go back to the premise, which Steve Blue, Nolan North, some Chinese guy over there, and Nikolai, the guy who plays Nikolai. Hopefully. They give us information on the new upcoming DLC map, which I think just might come. Because we didn't see staffs in the map at all. At all. Which was crap. Like, super crap. So, hopefully, there is a new map coming. And that's my day. <gasps> Pier oh! Forgot to talk about Pier McLean. Also, also. I think there's gonna be a new map, cause Peter McLean. He wasn't mentioning at all. 
that made me peeled. That made me peel, peel, like that peel. Sorry for that, but like. Okay. Um, well, this is in the video coming up. It's gonna be ten minutes, and um, check out my channel next time, cause I'm gonna come up with shout out Monday. Next day, I'm gonna do uh, to uh, show you my room and stuff, like my setup and stuff, and I'm gonna be doing some VR gameplay next week, and that's gonna be fun. God, it looks so freaking weird. This year is it's gonna be personal on the show. So please subscribe, check out, and peace out, guys.